how to use google drive complete step by step for beginners hey guys welcome back in this video i am giving you a beginner's tutorial on how to use google drive so let's get into it first of all what you need to do is you're going to go to google.com drive or you can search for google drive and it will take you right here now, Google Drive is an app by Google, which allows us to store, share and collaborate on files and folders from our mobile devices, tablet or a computer. Google Drive can be used to share files, documents. You will be able to create different folders, upload files, any kind of files, a picture, a videos. You can upload your document files, anything you want to. And you can also share with your team members. We can also integrate our Google Docs, Sheets and Slides into our Google Drive to make it more productive. Now, how to get started and how to access it? Well, it's really easy. If you have an account on Google, then you will be able to sign into your Google Drive. In order to access it, first of all, you can actually go to your Google. In the search bar, you can search for Google Drive or you can click on the apps option here. Scroll down a little bit and you can see this is the logo for Google Drive. Once you log into your Google Drive, this is what it will look like. Now, it's actually really easy to use, but as a beginner, you can get a little, uh, you know, confused at how to upload files, how to create folders and more. First of all, so you can see at this side of the screen, we have the new option. Click on the new option and it gives you the different uh, things we can do. We can create a new folder, file upload or upload a folder. Then you can see we also have our Google Docs here, Google Sheets, Google Slides, Google Forms. Click on more and you will be able to access your Google drawings, Google sites and more. First of all, let's create a new folder. So for that, I'm going to click on new and click on new folder. Or what you can do is you can just right click right here and then it allows you to create a new folder, new file, and you can also upload a file from here. Let's select new folder. Now give your folder a name. Let's call it test one. So this is how you create a new folder. Click on create and a folder will be created. Now, if I want to upload a file within my drive, I can do that by just clicking on new and click on file upload. If I want to upload a file within a folder, I will open it up. Now, this is the folder right here. I can click on new and this time if I click on file upload, a file will be uploaded right here. Or the easy way, you can just right click, click on file upload and it will allow you to choose a file from your computer. For instance, I want to upload this right here. So I'll click on upload file and at the bottom of the screen, it will show you upload time. Now you can see the file will be uploaded. So this is how you upload a file within a folder in your Google Drive. At this side, you can also find my drive, computers, shared and more. We will get to it in a minute. Now, once you have uploaded a file like this, we can actually do a lot. Click on these three dots and now you will get the preview option. You can open it up with your different, you know, options. Then we have the share, get link, add a shortcut to drive, move to, add to start, rename and more. Let's rename. So I'm going to call it my test file. Perfect. This is how I rename any file within a Google Drive. Click on these three dots and now I can get a link. So if you want to share this file with a link, you can just click on get link. And it will give you the link for the file like this. Now you can see I can click on copy link. But before you want to copy this link, you need to do one thing. If you want to restrict only people with access upon this link, you can use this option or click on this drop down and you can select anyone with the link. Once you select anyone with the link, then you can also choose if you want people to be a viewer commenter or editor so if you want people to to be able to download this file then you will need to switch to editor right here now the link will be updated and i will click on copy link and now this link will be a link that i will share with my team members or anyone to able to access this file so you can see this is the editor file and i'll be the owner click on done and now i have the link for a shared file if you want to share a file within the drive then you will click on share and here you can again enter people, groups, their email address or get the link. So this is actually the similar thing to copy link and share. We have these two options. Then we have move to. Let's say I want to move this file to another folder. So what I will do is I'll click on move to and it will give me access to all of the different folders within my drive. I have this one right here and then we have shared with me computers and more. 
and I'll just move it to any other folder I want to. Click on done and your file will be moved. Similarly, I can view a file. Just double click and it will open it up. This is what a file looks like. And at the top here, we have the download option. Click on download and the file will be downloaded. We also have open with here. Again, click on these three dots and you will get the share, manage captions, open in a new window, details and more. We can actually do a lot within a file uh, when we have uploaded on Drive. I can also upload files to Drive and then add them to my emails if I want to, if the file is larger than 25 MB. When it comes to uploading a file, you can upload larger files in Google Drive. That is why it is very useful. At the top here, again, we have these three dots where I can also make a copy. We have manage versions, we have remove, and we also have the detail option where I will get all the details. Now let's get out of this folder. So I showed you how to share a file, but if you want to share a folder, then again, you will click on these three dots, click on share, and I'll be sharing a link. So I'm going to go with anyone with the link and editor. Perfect. Click on copy link, done. And I will share this link with a team member and they will be able to join me within this shared folder. Now we have computers. So this is my drive here. Then we have computers. So this is where I will be able to sync between my different uh, devices. And then we have shared with me. If someone has shared any folder with me, I'll be able to see it right here within my shared with me. And you can see these are my shared folders. I am not the owner, but these are shared with me. So you can see I'll be able to check them here. Then we have the recent where it will show me my recent activity, different files that I have created and uploaded. Then we have our starred and bin. So if you want to remove a file, let's say I want to remove this one right here. So what I will do is I'll right click and click on remove and it will be moved to this bin right here. Go to the bin and now I can actually recover the file or I can empty the bin. So I'll empty the bin here, click on delete forever and the files will be deleted. Items in the bin are deleted forever after 30 days. Then we have our storage. So this is really important. It will show you your storage. For free, we can get up to 15 GB of storage with Google Drive. But if you want to buy storage, you can just simply click on this option here. This is the pricing plan for Google Drive. You can see we have 15 GB, which is free. This is the current plan that I have. And then we have the basic for under $1. You can see if built monthly and you will be able to get up to 100 GB with this one. And then we have a standard for 200 GB. This is going to be around about 2 USD per month. You can switch to the annual pricing and you will be able to save up to 16% with the basic. And then you can also save 16% with the standard. And then we also have the premium, which is 2 TB storage. That's a lot of storage. So if you want to use Google Drive, then you can, of course, get this storage so that there is no hindrance whatsoever. And you will be able to use your drive very easily, upload your files. So if I click on this new option again, so we uploaded a file, you can similarly upload a folder. But if you want to access your other apps so you can access them from here and you will be able to integrate it to Google Drive. Google Drive is a very easy to use application available by Google that helps us share, collaborate and store our files in a secure and productive manner. I hope that I was a big help to you guys. Now you know how to use Google Drive. This is the latest version right here. And now you know how to use it. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up or leave a comment down below. Turn on bell notification and subscribe to YouTube channel.